Hi there guys, it's Mike from the Justice Academy team and today we're having a look at the brand new full frame mirrorless Nikon series. The Z7, the Z6 and their brand new lenses. Let's see what they can do. So, the brand new Nikon full frame mirrorless has some impressive specs. The Z7 has 45.7 megapixels. This is a massive amount of resolution and it's backed up with 493 phase detection autofocus points over 90% of the sensor. There's also 9 frames per second for higher resolution, that's a fast speed, and it's backed up with 25,600 ISO as the maximum. The other camera being released today is the Z6. It offers 24.5 megapixels, 273 phase detection autofocus points. It has 12 frames per second. It has an ISO range up to 51,200. Whilst there are a few differences between the two models in this new series, there are a lot of similarities. They're both using the brand new Z mount. This is an incredible new mount from Nikon that has fantastic image quality for these new sensors. There's also a beautiful EVF. The detail in this finder is incredible and will easily replace your optical viewfinder. Really enjoying the touch functions on this camera. It means when I'm quickly lining up my shot, I can tap where I want the focus to be and then switch to this 3.6 million dot EVF. And I can get the shots. And the blackout time is so minimal, it's exactly like using a mirrored camera. So I'm setting up a shot here and I'm not quite sure where the guys are going to be so I'm going to trust these 493 um, autofocus points. I've set it to a wide zone so it's just going to lock on to, as soon as I start holding the button down, it's going to lock on to the action and give me what I want. This camera is so easy to handle, I'm with one hand and I've got full control, no issues. The sensors in both new cameras are backside illuminated to maximise clarity, giving crystal clear results. Both cameras in the Z series are powered by Nikon's latest processor, the XP6, offering more creative control than ever before, including mid-range sharpening to really tweak your results. The ergonomic design feels robust and comfortable to hold, whilst remaining familiar to Nikon users and the body is weather and dust resistant. For videographers, the Z7 and Z6 offer up to 10-bit 4K at 30 frames per second and Full HD up to 120 frames per second. The video modes also include 8K and 4K time-lapse creation, and the new sensor gives a high dynamic range while filming. The Z7 and Z6 are the first cameras to have in-camera vibration reduction. This feature offers five stops of image stabilization and is great for low-light shooting. To accompany the camera bodies, Nikon have released three new lenses a 35mm 1.8, a 50mm 1.8 and a 24-70 f4. They've also released the FTZ mount adapter. This adapter will allow you to attach your existing F mount lenses to the Z system and you'll have full AF control on up to 90 of the existing lenses. On the side of the camera you'll find a headphone jack, microphone port, USB port, HDMI out and trigger release. The Z series has an updated battery with the ENEL 15B, but is still compatible with existing ENEL 15s, though they will not charge in the camera's body like the ENEL 15B will. For the fastest and most reliable transfer of images and video, the camera uses an XQD card slot. In terms of first impressions, the Nikon Z series certainly makes a strong one. I've really enjoyed my time playing with the Z7 today. It's a fantastic camera. It's well built and it's well thought out. From the fast, accurate autofocus, that beautiful new sensor, these really nice lenses, that just crystal clear EVF. There are so many things I like about this camera, I don't think I have time to list them all. If you'd like the full spec of this camera, you can check it out at jessips.com. And of course, there's the Z6 as well. With these two cameras, there is a great range in this new mirrorless option. If you're a Nikon user who's been waiting to upgrade, this could be the mirrorless option for you. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and hit subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on the next one.